our story begins, he is headed for the old fishing hole. Freddy! Uh oh. Too bad. Freddy had helped his mother make soft soap to sell to their friends and neighbors. Shucks, if I didn't have to work, think of all the fun I could be having. Freddy tries to figure out an easier and quicker way to make soap. He goes to work to make his dreams of fun come true. After years of working night and day, Freddy's experiments bring success. Soap in cakes. Pretty soon, word gets around to the housewives who want shorter, easier wash days and cleaner clothes. Freddy's soap is just what they need. his profits in larger quarters and new equipment to make enough soap to satisfy the demand. Finally, his dreams come true. Time off for fun on Saturday. Hey, Freddy, a guy can fish anytime. It's 23 skidoo. Freddy. Hopelessly in love, he wants to make good in a big way. So, back to work. As the company grows, it brings the railroad and other businesses to town. Increased property taxes from the thriving community help to build better schools, streets, parks, libraries, playgrounds, and waterworks. Taxes even help to provide more and better governmental services such as police protection. Before long, Freddy becomes a successful businessman. And incidentally, a successful husband and father. Fudzi's expanding company creates all kinds of jobs that never existed before. To increase production and sales, Fudzi builds up a strong labor management team. Each year, he invests a portion of his profits in research to develop better soap that can be made to sell at lower prices. The Fudzi company continues to grow with the years because it makes a good soap, which in competition with others, sells at a fair price. Competition forces each manufacturer to improve his product, to sell it for less, and to give the consumer more for a dollar than his competitor. And Fudzi is hard to beat. Finally, he gets so many orders, he realizes that one factory simply can't meet the demand. His profit motive starts sparking to figure out a way to increase production. He forms a corporation and issues stock to raise money to build factories from coast to coast. Putsy's employees have faith in his management and back him with their savings. Banks loan depositors money to help finance the expansion program. Insurance companies loan the funds of their policyholders to help build the factories. Stock exchanges act as a clearinghouse for people from all walks of life to buy securities. Before long, everybody gets plenty of soap. At last, Fudsey's success is complete. Soap City. The profit motive, which drove Fudsey to accomplish so much, may bring out the evil, as well as the good. Hello? Fudsey, old boy, I've got a great idea. 
Between us, we control 70% of the country's soap sales. Yeah, but quiet. Let's see what's cooking. I smell trouble. Let's raise and fix our prices. Controlling 70% of the market way, we do clean up. Terrific. We'll make millions. Millions. We go. Quiet. Okay, Sam. It's a deal. You'll be sorry. <laughs> Budsey and Sam said so raise and fix prices, but the result is not what they expect. A competitor comes along with a good bar of soap that sells at a lower price. Since shoppers always seek maximum value, only the lower priced soap sells, while Budsey and Sam said so's profits turn into losses. 99 times out of 100, competition works. When it doesn't, the government steps in to prevent monopolistic attempts. That was a tough break. Now the next time... Only a business operating at a steady profit can give its workers security and employee benefits. Operating at a profit, a business can provide the employee with comfortable, colorful working conditions. High wages and steady employment. First aid and health protection. Mm -hmm. Accident and life insurance. Time off for vacation. The employee working for a profitable business can maintain a savings account, own his own home, and have plenty of leisure to enjoy the peace and quiet of family life. When investors receive fair dividends, they are eager to supply industry with a steady flow of capital to create new tools and plants, which in turn create new jobs. With business prosperous and employment high, the farmer has a ready and profitable market for the sale of his produce. When businesses all over the country operate at a steady profit, our economic health is tops. Billions in taxes paid out of profits flow into local, state, and governments. The profit motive has been the driving force back of the growth of American industry. The American system of free enterprise will give the young people of today the freedom of opportunity to develop ideas which will make a better way of life for the children of tomorrow.